Colorado continues to rebound from the COVID-19 pandemic. A big part of that is treating substance use disorders, some of which were aggravated because of how stressful this year has been for all of us. And with millions of dollars cut from state funding, our Colette Bordelon learned federal money heading to Colorado will be a big help. More than 300 million being given out by the Department of Justice to fight opioid and stimulant crises. And here in Colorado, we're getting 11 million of that. The opioid crisis. We're looking still at about a decade of work in this area. Isn't going away anytime soon. This is an underfunded realm of service anyway in our state. Jose Escabel of the Colorado Consortium for Prescription Drug Abuse Prevention says the pandemic has only made things worse, whether we're talking about addiction or the money spent on recovery. Some of the budget cuts have made it difficult and challenging. But the federal government is sending millions to Colorado to help fight drug abuse. Six million for the state health department, over a million for the judicial department to dole out to different drug courts, and about half a million for substance use treatment in state prisons. These kind of programs are essential for the springboard to help people move into that long-term recovery. Plus almost 600,000 heading to Alamosa for their law enforcement assisted diversion program, also called LEAD. We wouldn't be able to do them without these grants. Typically, offenders are recommended to the program by officers and they get paired with a case manager to help get to the root of their problem. With this new money, now people who don't have a record but still need some help can also get into the program. For those individuals who are working with their case manager, a pretty significant reduction in repeat crimes. Something not only valuable in the criminal justice system. It ripples out beyond just them. But also for the good of the community. Also promising since the maker of Oxycontin, Purdue Pharma, settled and pleaded guilty to criminal charges back in October. They now must pay back billions of dollars. And our attorney general's office already working on how Colorado can get as much of that money as possible and where it could be distributed. But they say that won't come for potentially a long period of time. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Colette Bordelon, News 5.